Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily energy and guidance reading. Although I consider this a timeless reading, whenever you see this reading, it is meant for you to hear the message. Today, however, is February 27th, and we are using the Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. You may use this reading as a pick a card, one, two, or three, or a blended reading with all three cards for today. As I shuffle the deck, I already have a jumper. <laughs> we'll take that one. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And I'll take one from the center for the card number two. And I'll take the bottom card for the last card. Okay, and let's see who the jumper was. I always love jumping cards. They're meant to be. They want to be heard. <laughs> they call attention to themselves. Okay, answer the call. And answer the call said, what is your soul calling you to do? Okay, a lot of us are doing, you know, what we're expected to do, what we're caught up in the habit of doing, you know, maybe we're staying at a job that's unfulfilling, maybe we're tolerating friends or family members that are negative and toxic. Uh, maybe we're just, you know, stuck. Um, it's very scary uh, when you're, you know, making changes in your life because nobody knows what the future holds. But if you don't take the chance, you don't know how happy you could possibly be. Um, some people like to stay in their safe zone, and I could understand that. I was one of those people at one point, but then things get so bad, they have to get so bad for you to finally make that move. And it says, your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearning, you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. Answering your soul's call is not one-time thing, rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step by plan before they take the first step, but intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the call of your soul, and that's why most people don't do it. But you're not most people. You're in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even know need to know where it's leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the most resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. So yes, I was saying this yesterday. We don't have a step-by-step -step plan. No one knows what we're supposed to exactly be doing. Just take it day by day, moment by moment. Go with what your gut feelings are. Do not dismiss them. Do not stand back. Do not try to fit into the crowd. Do not try to people please. This is very, very important that we express ourselves and that we follow what our soul desires. And then the next card is transformation. And how beautiful is this card? And it says things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. And yes, this is all about transformation. Every day is a chance to transform. But if we fight these challenges and these changes and we start you know, chalking it up to, oh, always me, and oh, I have such bad luck, and why is this happening? No, we need to embrace the changes because changes mean that we're evolving and we're transforming. So don't feel like it's bad luck. Don't feel like, why is this happening to me? Or think negatively about it. It's all happening for a reason. And even though you might not understand why you're going through the changes and challenges you're going through right now, it will all make sense in the end. Things are changing at a cellular level and you aren't who you were a year ago or who you will soon be. You were in between emerging, half risen, half falling, Keep doing the work you are transforming. You will look back at this time with awe. So much is happening in your inner world and within your cells. 
It's time to release old ways of being that have kept you in a fight or flight freeze mode, to choose a new way of being where trauma is not the driving force. Our childhood patterns are rising up to be healed as you allow yourself to observe them without attachment. They loosen their grip and fall away. You're being called to find new ways to self-soothe. Saturn and Black Madonna and the African goddess Ocean influence this card. Saturn represents destruction and transformation. The Black Madonna represents the underground and all that has been cast aside. And Ocean represents the tender love of the original mother. A rethreading is happening, healing at the deepest of levels. While you were in this phase, don't put yourself under pressure to perform. You may need to review your relationship with your body, perhaps even shifting your diet or exercise regimen, or getting energetic healing support. You may also need to consider some kind of emotional support, as issues from your childhood may come up to be healed. You are deeply loved. Yes, we're all going through this. Things are coming to the surface that we may have been pushing down for the longest time because we just didn't want to deal with them. But the sooner you deal with these things and you accept these things, and I'm not saying accept something that was bad, that was done to you, that was wrong, or the people that did you wrong. I'm not saying that when you accept it, it means it's okay. I'm saying to accept it so you don't resist it and fight it because whatever you resist persists. And whatever you fight and resist, you give more power to. And you don't want these things to have power over you any longer. So when these feelings come up, sit with them, accept them, deal with them, and then move on from them. But if you keep on, you know, distracting yourself and maybe, you know, taking part in indulgences, like, you know, maybe uh, doing a, a lot of overeating to fill the emotional void or drinking or, or doing uh, drugs or over shopping or jumping into relationships randomly. You know, all these forms of escapism isn't going to make the situation improve or go away. What's going to happen is after the thrill of all this stuff is over with, the same problems are going to be right there, front and center, until you deal with them. So, Think of what it is that you need to heal so we can let it go. I'm dealing with quite a bit of things right now from last year. And I'll tell you, I feel there is light at the end of the tunnel. I finally feel that there is some relief from all that I have gone through since last year. And I'm feeling much stronger and I'm very accepting of what is. And I'm not wanting people to change and I'm not wanting to you know, go along with things that maybe I went along with just to keep the peace. I'm not willing to do that. Okay, so a lot of you out there need to feel the same way. And here's a repeat card. We have Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future. I'll tell you, there is such a healing theme to these cards today. And when they say break the chains, you know, break the cycle. Okay, we may come from families where there is a cycle of dysfunctional behavior and we don't even realize that we're repeating the same mistakes that our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents and the people that came before them have all done. So it's time to stand up and break the cycle of something and you're going to feel such a, a release and such a freedom and such a liberation, you know, when you break away. And the book reads, you are being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of old patterns of your maternal and paternal line. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I get from this card. Healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. And a lot of us are you know, changing our beliefs and in, in what we feel things should be. Like the, the biggest learning that I had over the past year was the concept of what a family should look like. It doesn't have to be blood relatives. It doesn't have to be the people that you've spent most of your life with because a lot of those people could be very wrong for you. I believe a family is people that you connect with, your tribe, uh, friends, strangers that cross your path that end up maybe being a lifelong friend or someone that just crossed your path at the exact right moment when you needed their guidance. So there's so many beliefs that 
are being changed. And when you're open to new beliefs and new possibilities, you're, you're opening your world, you're expanding instead of being, you know, closed minded. It says we carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back. This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. Often they are not even ours to begin with, but we do not know another way of being. And so we continue playing out the drama. That's right. I mean, we we typically go with what's familiar to us, you know, what we've learned, what we've, you know, observed, and we just go along with it. And it seems like we never question it. It just is. It's, it's what we've learned from the people that we've, you know, been around. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. And that is so right. You will try to talk to people, especially family members that you care about, and you try to tell them about, you know, what they're doing is wrong or how someone's treating them is not right. And they just don't want to hear it. Sometimes you just have to walk away and go no contact with those people. And then that gives them time to realize that, hey, maybe what she said is true. You know, because you could preach to people all day long, but if they're not ready to hear your message and they're not ready to change, they're not. But sometimes it takes someone walking away to really open someone's eyes to give them, you know, a wake up call. And it says you're being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of being or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. You could create your life the way you want it to be, not the way others expect you to live or what is, you know, expected of you or what you're obligated to. You are going to create your own life and you could start out with a blank page right now and you could rewrite the whole thing. Whatever's happened in the past and whatever's happened up to this point, that doesn't matter. We're going forward. We're not moving back because if you keep going back, you can't move forward. Okay, so whatever we go back to is maybe what the lessons taught us, the knowledge. Okay, but that's about all we're taking from the past. We're going forward. We're rewriting this story. Wow, what a powerful reading today. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.